Hello Kules and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting stories. We start with Frankie de Jong as it has been reported that the Barcelona star will assess his injury today in Milan clash still in doubt. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Pablo Gavi, it has been reported that Pablo Gavi is not injured and he will play against Inter Milan. Of course, this comes as there were a lot of doubts after it was reported that Pablo Gavi suffered a minor discomfort after the Mallorca win yesterday. So he will be fit, he will play the game as it has been confirmed. So guys, before we get right into those stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Journalist Javi Miguel has confirmed that midfielder Frankie de Jong will be tested today in order to see his physical stature ahead of the UEFA Champions League group stage tie against Inter Milan. Frankie de Jong picked up a hamstring injury while being on international duty for the Netherlands in late September. The last game he played was a 2-0 win over Robert Lewandowski's Poland where he clocked 20, um, 45 minutes. Since then, Barcelona went on to confirm that he has suffered an elongation of the semitendinosus muscle in his left thigh and that he will not be available for selection for the foreseeable future. Interestingly enough, Frankie de Jong wasn't the only player who Barcelona lost due to injury as it turns out his national teammate Memphis Opai was one among four players who returned with injuries alongside Jules Koundé and Ronald Araujo. As far as Kunde is concerned, why he is expected to return ahead of the season's first El Clasico, Arago is said to miss a considerable period of time after undergoing successful surgery in Finland in order to cure his, thigh, his right thigh. This forced Xavi to call for major changes to the international calendar, he said. I think FIFA have a plan to have a walk off every two years, which has been controversial, but there is a calendar where national teams are together for one and a half months, he was quoted as saying by ESPN. Then the clubs get the players for the rest of the year. It, it is just one block with their countries. I think that would be a good solution, but it is not up to me, he said. Now, as far as Frankie de Jong is concerned, Barcelona will hope you know, he can resume his usual proceedings as early as um, possible, especially as Gavi was reported to have uh, observed some discomfort during the Mallorca game yesterday. The international break, of course, was a really bad one for Barcelona. You know, four players confirmed injured by Barcelona and four important players, that's even what disturbs the most. So Frankie de Jong as well, you know, picked up an injury while playing for the Netherlands against Poland and it has been a big blow for us but luckily enough his injury is not as serious like the one of Jules Koundé and Ronald Araujo but as it has just been reported he might just miss the Inter Milan clash you know which would be sad but Barcelona are saying that they will need to assess the injury today before they can conclude on if Frankie de Jong will play the game against Inter Milan on Tuesday in the Champions League of course, what would be an important game for us to at least win to be second. Of course, after losing our last game against Bayern Munich in a disappointing fashion. So hopefully Frankie de Jong can be fit to play. But I don't think Javi will be that kind of person to rush things if Frankie de Jong is not 100%. So I think the medical staff themselves will have to ensure that Frankie de Jong is, is really fit 100%. Then I think from there they can give him that, you know, benefit of a doubt to start that game so let's see how it's gonna look like you know let's see now this october is a kind of time that we need those key players when we look at the kind of calendar that we have we have very tight schedules you know nine games in the month of october you can say yes three games after sorry a game after three days so it's really really difficult so i think let's see how we can cope with it i think this this is a month that can really carve out our season can really determine our season how it's going to look like because winning some very important and crucial games that we have in the month of October is just likely going to decide our fate this season. Who knows? Because it looks like it's going to be a key, one of the key months of the season, if not very the most important month. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, 
Barcelona can take a huge sigh of relief after it's been learned that young midfielder Pablo Gavi has no injury whatsoever and that he will be available for selection during the UEFA Champions League group stage game against Inter on Tuesday. Gavi paired alongside Sergio Busquets and Frank Kittier during the recent 1-0 win over Mallorca. As it turns out, the midfielder was showing some signs of discomfort towards the end and while Javi had one substitute left, he decided to keep Gavi on the field, you know, as captured by TV3 cameras, the 18-year-old portrayed his frustrations towards the bench, you know, but ended up playing four minutes of the La Liga game. Now, as reported by Spanish publication Mundo Deportivo, the young midfielder has no injury, meaning that he will be in full condition to play on Tuesday in Milan. It must also be remembered that Gavi has made it himself available for each of Barcelona's nine competitive games this season so far. Out of these nine outings, he has featured from the start on seven occasions and it was only against Elche and Victoria Pleasant that he came from the bench. On top of that, he has also been a regular fixture for Luis Enrique's side during the international duty with Spain. As against Switzerland, he clocked the full 90 minutes, while against Portugal, he made a 30 minute cameo. Overall, the youngster has played a total of six, um, 564 minutes in 9 games, meaning that he is averaging more than 60 minutes of action per game this season. His availability against Inter could or will be a massive relief for Barcelona since the team is already struggling with a host of injuries. This includes forwards Memphis Depay and defenders Ronald Araujo and Jules Koundé. A certain Frankie de Jong is currently nursing his hamstring injury as well, but as reported before, he could be included in the match day squad against the City A team anyway. Pablo Gavi has been phenomenal this season. Um, I think he's been one of the best midfielders that we have had alongside Pedri and having him fit is, is great news. It should always be great news. Because yesterday it was it was scary, like he was feeling discomfort. I saw the moment, and he was even indicating to Javi's staff, the bench, to change him. But I don't know if Javi did not see the the sign from the the, the player, or was like Javi never believed that he was feeling discomfort. So it has been confirmed that despite the fear of discomfort, Pablo Gavi has been tested and he's doing just fine, and he will future against Inter Milan in two days to come where we play at the San Siro in what will be a very important game for us to win after losing our last game against Payen. So interesting game lie ahead for us and at least it's a boost to see that Pablo Gavi will be there. So guys with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.